Here is an A-grade question on functions, domain, and range. The functions f and g are defined by f of x equal x squared minus 4, x is an element of the real number set, x is greater than 8. g of x is equal to 2x minus 2, x is an element of the real number set, x is greater than 3. Part A, state the range of f of x and the range of g of x. Part B, find a simplified expression for f of g of x. Part C, Determine the domain and range of f of g of x. This question is worth 6 marks. Pause the video, have a go at the question and then play the video. Let's have a look at part A. To find the range of f of x and the range of g of x, it is particularly useful to sketch the graph of f of x and the graph of g of x. Let's start off with the graph of f of x. Here is the sketch of y equal f of x for x is greater than 8. Notice that there are dashed lines for x is less than or equal to 8. Those dashed lines are not included as part of my sketch. Now to find the range of y equal f of x, I need to focus on the y-axis. In particular, I'll be looking at this portion over here. So what is the range of y equal f of x? Well, the range of y equal f of x is just f of x is greater than 60. Notice that we have a circle over here because x equal 8 is not included in the domain. Hence, y equal 60 is not included in the range. So the range of f of x will just be f of x is greater than 60. f of x is an element of the real number set. Now, I'm going to sketch the graph of y equal g of x in order to determine the range of y equal g of x. So, here is my sketch of y equal g of x for x is greater than 3. The dashed lines are not included as part of my sketch. Notice that we have a circle over here because x equals 3 is not included in the domain. Hence, y equals 4 is not included in the range. Now, to find the range of y equal g of x, I need to focus on the y-axis. And in particular, I'll be looking at this portion over here. So, the range of y equal g of x for x is greater than 3 will just be g of x is greater than 4. Range of g of x is g of x is greater than 4. g of x is an element of the real number set. Let's have a look at part b. For part b, I need to find a simplified expression for f of g of x. So, f of g of x firstly can be rewritten as f in square brackets g of x. What does this tell us? Well, the input for f is g of x. So, I can replace the g of x with 2x minus 2. Now, f of 2x minus 2 is just f, but with the x's replaced with 2x minus 2. So I have 2x minus 2 in bracket squared minus 4. Now, this is a quadratic in vertex form. When we have a quadratic in vertex form, we can read off the turning point. The turning point for this particular quadratic will just be 1 minus 4. To find the x coordinate of the turning point, we need to set whatever we have inside the bracket equal to 0. So if I set 2x minus 2 equal to 0 and I solve, I get x equal 1. The y coordinate of the turning point is the number that you have outside the bracket. 
in this particular case, it is minus 4. To get the final mark, I need to simplify this expression. So if I expand and then simplify, I obtain the result 4x squared minus 8x. Let's have a look at part C. Determine the domain and range of f of g of x. I'm going to start with the domain of f of g of x. To find the domain of any composite function, it is always useful to draw a mapping diagram. My first set will represent x. x gets mapped onto g of x, which is my second set. The domain for g of x is x is greater than 3. g of x then gets mapped onto f of g of x, which is my third set. The domain for f is x is greater than 8. Because the input of f is g of x, I need to write g of x is greater than 8. So I have that x is greater than 3 and g of x is greater than 8. I know that g of x is 2x minus 2, so I can set 2x minus 2 to be greater than 8. I need to now solve this inequality. So I get 2x is greater than 10, hence x is greater than 5. I must have that x is greater than 3 and x is greater than 5. What is the overlap? Well, the overlap is just x is greater than 5. Hence, the domain is x is greater than 5 x is an element of the real number set. Let's have a look at the range of f of g of x now. To find the range of f of g of x, I'm going to sketch the graph of f of g of x for its domain, which is x is greater than 5. Here is the sketch of y equal f of g of x for the domain x is greater than 5. Notice that the dashed lines is not included as part of my sketch. There is a circle at this point because x equal 5 is not included in the domain. Hence y equal 60 is not included in the range. Going back to the circles. If these circles were shaded then the corresponding x values will be included in the domain and the corresponding y values will be included in the range. I thought I'd mention this important fact. Okay, so to find the range, I need to focus on the y-axis. In particular, I'll be looking at this portion over here. So what is the range? Well, the range will just be f of g of x is greater than 60. Range... of f of g of x will therefore be f of g of x is greater than 60 f of g of x is an element of the real number set if you found this video useful please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive regular updates